afternoon everybody. Susan here at Butler Farm. We've uh, been working on our garden uh, plot, our garden area. Done a few things in advance that are not on camera. I believe I got a short of us moving out our uh, IBC tote raised beds. But here's where we're at right now and what we're doing. So we've moved out all of our IBC raised totes. There's four of them there. And then we've got um, our self-wicking tubs and our containers over here. And what we did was uh, bring our mower out here and mow the perimeter all the way around. And we found it's not square, but that's okay. And then we went, Jerry and I went to Lowe's and bought some ground cover cloth and we're putting that down on the entire um, garden size. And I think I mentioned in last year's garden videos that we were uh, going to start using the back half with, you know, shade cloth, I mean, a shade uh, plants, maybe flowers, something, but we will be using about two thirds of this area because as you can see right now, I think it's three o'clock sun's light it's not a, a real uh warm warm day but it's enough to where we can get out here and work so um these uh pens we're using robert what did you do to make these pens hanger. huh I cut hangers up. jerry's uniform uh or mfa has a cleaning company and his uniforms would come and they'd be on these uh metal hangers and we came up with the idea of cutting okay. the ends off it already had the bend in it we just had to make the cut and so we've used this um, on our uh, geocloth that we used underneath our waters was the original use and now we're doing it with our garden garden cloth so we're going to cover the whole thing and then probably tomorrow we'll bring the um, IBC totes back or we'll figure out where we're going to put everything so it's not like a willy-nilly kind of deal but um, I'm going to set this up so that you can see a little bit of our act actions and um, come back. Gertrude's out here giving advice. Did you get stuck? Huh? Did you get stuck? Yeah, I knew it. I can't push a brush on it. Hmm. That was 100 feet. You said that, uh, that was 40, so that's 40. Yeah. 
Can you just try to get us a point, please? Well, we had a lot of time to get out. Hangover, I'm all done. Yeah, I know. We still have shown up. We want to go to the water with any hangover on that side. So we have a, we bought two rolls of this uh, geocloth that we used on our waters, like I like we uh, was talking to Robert about, and we got 600 foot square footage per roll, and we figure we have 1,100. Of course, we have some extra uh, at each end because we're going to stick it underneath our fence and help hold it down. But this has a 10-year warranty? 20. This has a 20-year warranty, which was uh, advised either to get 10 or 20 years. Andale. Uh, by Andale. Andale. Andale Homestead. Andale Homestead. So thanks, Ann, for the tip. This is a plastic. Huh? They can hear me. I guarantee they can hear me. I'm sure they can. Really? This is a plastic. And so... It will last, and it makes it easy in case she wants to plant something in the actual ground. She can just take a torch and touch the the, air, the spot with the torch, and it will burn a hole big enough that she can plant it. Here's more. That's it. Okay. We got a board right there, Susan. Jerry and I ran down to the north end of our property that has the former parlor there and we loaded up the back of the mule for bricks. We want to put bricks on the corners of the uh, uh, ground cloth and then we want to um, put the um, IBC tote, raised beds on bricks to raise them up a little bit higher. Not so much for the gardening work but so that we can keep control of uh, what's going on with the mice and, and stuff because we do have that. I don't think the snakes are going to be a problem. But anyway, so right now we're setting bricks out here and I got to put two more out to uh, put the totes on. So here we go. Jerry's maneuvering the first, uh, the first uh, tote to come back in the garden.
about um, two years ago, because it wasn't last year, but the year before, we bought some uh, hay, round hay bales that had um, plastic uh, wrapped around them and so I saved it and so in last year's garden I put this white plastic underneath the totes to help with uh, you know the weed control and all that and it did wonders but we don't need it now and so a lot of it got picked up um, with the forks and we're trying to cut it off so that we can you know, get rid of it. Move the mule. Just back it up. Yeah. Okay, three planters down. I think we got room for one more right here and then we need to redo this though, don't we? Yeah, probably so after he's done with this next one. I think he's going to put it right here at the end. Yeah, but don't Don't worry about it until So we're coming to the close of the first gardening day. Available, and we topped off the existing six totes with some more mushroom soil. It's a 60, it's a 30-70 mix with um, topsoil. Um, we have two new totes to put rock, cloth rock, and then we'll put dirt in it. And so at this point. We've got two rows of eight of raised beds. We need to sit down and figure out what we're going to do. Plan for this one. And right now, Jerry's actually going to tear up where the calves were for the winter. And I'm going to plant um, potatoes out here. So I've got some um, milk. I always do the hay and stuff. I've got some uh, chicken litter. I'd like to uh, shout out Gail, Gail Southern Living. Uh, she's got this open collab going that I'm a part of, and this is my April video. The collab is called uh, Garden Tour Club, and each month we are updating uh, what's going on in our gardens. Um, I think you can do it as many times as you want. There are giveaways. Um, Gail does have a playlist. My Gertrudes are enjoying this new little place to make their nests. Dust baths, not nests, dust baths. So in closing, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there'll be more 
later as I get everything planted, um, I'm in, ouch, I'm in um, Garden Zone 7A, and this week is my last frost date week, which coincides with the uh, evening or nighttime temperatures down to in the low 30s. I don't think we'll get frost, but you never know. And the next part of this is getting the uh, wicking tubs uh, set up, and cleaned out and topped off. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by.